Wow, what do you know? It's time for the Pocket Knife Show. Hey, it's Mike on the mic again for another episode of the Pocket Knife Podcast. The church has been unusually busy today. Obviously, not the day you're listening to this, but the day I'm recording. There have been a number of people hard at work getting things ready for a special event which takes place three days from now. It's already passed, probably for you. One of those who stopped in decorated a bulletin board in the basement with a brand new fall theme. Another brought by some tablecloths and made sure everything was in order for the post-event meal. When I came by after visiting a couple of people in the community, another was creating centerpieces on the tables. I just heard another set of footsteps upstairs. Could be the woman who quietly changes out our flower arrangement every week. In a couple of hours, probably after I'm out of the building, the vacuum will be roaring as well. It's cleaning day at the church. Things will look great Sunday morning because someone puts in the time to spiff things up during the week. I suspect others will be ducking in to drop off food items between now and Saturday when the bulk of the cooking will take place. I've heard from a couple of them. The green beans are here. The corn is coming. I'm thankful today for the group of believers God has gathered together in this place at this time. I'm talking in general now, not just about the work being done for a single event. The church here has dozens of moving parts, as it does in any other place. Some are more visible than others, but none more important than the whole. Each person doing what God gives them to do brings glory to God. Here's what Romans 12, 3-8 says about this matter. By the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. God uses each and every member of his church. His spirit empowers each person to do what God needs done in order to bless the rest of the church and to welcome the neighborhood to consider joining in the Jesus following. The kingdom grows when those outside see citizens of the kingdom loving and living like Jesus loved and lived. So the interruptions today, if you want to call them that, have been a blessing to me. The believing ones who've popped in and then popped out haven't been seeking to bring attention to themselves. They want people to enjoy God's presence and some good food and friendship-inducing fellowship this weekend. They've been gifted to serve, so they've served in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, y'all. I noticed, and so did God. Keep up the good work for God's glory and for the benefit of others. That I know we've come to the end of the show. See you next time.